well, I've had to choose just one NXS song. That's pretty tough, because uh, there's a few of them out there. Um, probably Don't Change. I think, you know, it's just uh, a classic NXS song. Um, it's almost like there hasn't been a concert that we've never played it. Maybe there's only a few gigs we've never played Don't Change, but Don't Change is uh, just a classic um, in excess anthem and, uh, you know, and it's rocky, so I'd go with Don't Change. Well, I think, you know, um, we've been together so long that, uh, you know, we, we've developed this sense of humour between each other, which is almost um, sort of on a psychic level, um, that we only have to look at each other and we can sort of laugh about something. Um, and that's probably born from being performers on stage for, for so many years. Uh, you develop a sort of a reciprocal sort of way you work together. And uh, I think with your sense of humour sometimes, you know, you're so bored um, waiting in airports or, or something like that, that uh, you just start, you know, developing a sense of humour, which might be different from most people. You guys are just so wonderful and we love you all very much and uh, you know you've just been so supportive um, and if there's anything that you could give back to us um, I mean all I can say is your continued support would be would be most heartily cherished and uh, your understanding with um, the decisions we make and in, in our musical directions and and um, and the things that we uh, that we choose to do to survive um, and to carry on uh, your support and ongoing support as you have always been there for us would be greatly appreciated and we love you very much for everything you've ever done for us. One thing I can't live without is my wife um, but it's really not fair to ask her to be on tour all the time but in terms of um, a thing uh, would probably be my little um, vitamin case which has got all my little vitamins in it and uh, you know herbal remedies and things that I can monitor my uh, health while I'm on tour. Um, I think that's probably the most important thing for me once I leave home. You can't leave home without your vitamins. <laughs> I suppose I've been quite blessed and fortunate in my life because uh, I've, you know, just all I've known is music and that's really my main and primary love uh, and that, that's been my principal dream all my life, so. Um, but if uh, I had to pick something, I might like to learn how to, to uh, fly an airplane. Or bullfighting, perhaps, but uh, yeah, flying an airplane. If I had to choose one song to serenade my loved one, um, would probably be Always In My Head by India Ari. It's just a song which we both appreciated when we were uh, dating, first dating, and um, it's just a song that's kind of special to carry me, and uh, yeah, you know, usually if I put that on and get a twinkle in my eye, we're heading in the right direction. Well, I've always really uh, felt that um, I was disappointed with myself when I stopped having piano lessons when I was about six years old. Uh, had I kept that up, I think uh, I w it would have really enhanced and uh, helped my songwriting a lot. But um, it would be very interesting to consider something unusual like sitar or something uh, on a sort of very um, um, yeah world music level, some perhaps native instrument which is quite unusual would be would be great